Hello everyone and welcome to my video. So it's exciting today because I am coming out with a new series called Different Ways of Using. So in today's video I am going to be using the amazing Flexi Stretcher. So I'm very excited to start this series. Make sure if you do enjoy it to give it a thumbs up to let me know if you want more of these videos. So without further ado, let's get started. So first off, I just want to give you the basics on how to set up for arabesques and ponches and all that stuff. So you want to get the holes and obviously put them both on one foot. So I'm putting it on my right foot right now. And make sure that the two little silver bits are facing the same way, so away from the foot. So once that's on there, you want to get the pink part of the flexi stretcher and put it around the back onto your left shoulder. So after that, you just want to extend your leg and you are in the perfect arabesque position. To go to second, you have to rotate the hip and also to go to Devon, just bring the leg forward like that. So that's how you get to those positions if you didn't know. I find with the flexi stretcher, it really acts like someone is pushing for you. It's like your little a personal assistant so you can adjust it to however you want so it can be really strong or looser and by doing that you want to adjust these little silver things um, and of course you can hold it as long as you want and put it down again it's just up to you which is really really good and as well the flexi stretcher helps align my shoulders up and get the perfect alignment for arabesques and ponches and all that stuff stretch I have for you guys is second splits on the ground. This again is like a helping assistant. So instead of course getting someone to push it for you, you can get the flexi stretcher to do it for you. So you want to sit on the ground and you want to extend the band right out to its fullest length. You want to put the two holes on either end of your foot. You want to put your body in front of the pink band and extend your legs out. So I find that's the easiest way for me to get to that position. Some other people have some other crazy ideas, but I find this is the easiest one. So you should be now in second splits. I also find if you want more of a stretch, you can lie on your tum or not your tummy. <laughs> you wanna lie on your back and this, oh my God, this really stretches my hamstrings out. Not my hamstrings. What are they called? That's right, my hip flexors. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. So they really stretch your hip flexors out. Um, this is another really great stretch. All right, so I have a couple more left. I have one where you are lying on your back. So again, instead of getting your friend to push on your leg, you get to the band and you put the pink part around your foot holds the end and you can pull. So it's a Devon stretch, but of course lying on the ground and you can pull it and do whatever you need to do. Okay, so now onto another little exercise if you wanna say. This is for the glutes, for around the hip flexor, and it's also trying to get your alignment for arabesque. So you go on your four, your hands and your knees, and you wanna put the pink part around your shoulder. And again, you wanna put the two little holes on your feet. You wanna get up into the position, and you wanna pull it out, just like that. And it's a really good exercise to get your arabesque alignment perfect. Okay guys, so those are my how to use the flexi stretcher. Those are obviously the ones I do. I'm sure there are a lot of different other things you can do, but these are personally the ones I usually do on a daily basis. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe and like the video for more videos like this. And I would really love to know what type of 
equipment you would like me to use next. I was thinking the Franklin ball, so just letting you give a little hint there. So I will see you guys in my next video and I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.